you know. Interesting. So um, what other, you said that things that you've seen change in the industry over the last 15 years or so um, have been, it, it feels like the bar is getting higher for companies oh, to hit yeah. um, series A, series B milestones. Is that just because more companies are hitting those milestones? Or Probably. is it? You know, I used to, I have all these pithy little sayings and because I always try to find a way to say in a single line, like I demanded my entrepreneurs, if you can't tell me what you do in one line, you don't understand what you do. So my answer to this is series A used to be the Olympics and now it's CrossFit. You know, in the old days before seed came around, when I first started doing this and a few other people did obviously as well. Um, but now we're 10 years in before that. Series A were the top competitors. So think of it as Germany sent their elite athletes that had already won all the medals in their own country to compete the world. That was Series A, the top guy or gal out of Cisco, the Tony Fidels out of Apple. Like they went out, they raised money off of their own strength, their ideas, their vision. Then along comes material amounts of capital available for seed and everything goes CrossFit. CrossFit, if you can do 100 push-ups faster than the other guy and you do it in front of a webcam just like this, you qualify for the games. You can go compete with the rest of the guys and whoever's the fastest wins. And so Seed allowed this massive audience of competitors to show up at the party and they got enough money to compete. And so you've got more competitors. And here's the thing, that trend culminated with the classic moment of Series Seed is the new Series A and Series A is the new Series B. Because the Seed money allowed them, just like the miracle people that went out with an idea, to prove something. The Series A's that got done were like the Series B's of old, except they were only the ones that succeeded. Because a Series A of old that went to a Series B might not have gotten what it needed done, but people might look at one more turn of the card. Well, then you jack up the numbers to what it is now, which is something like I mean, 20,000 fundings a year, of which say 90% are C. That's a lot more competitors. So wow. out of those 20,000, they're going to be outliers. The outliers are going to be the ones that don't get it done, but just effing kill it. Venture is not built anymore, if it ever was, for good companies. It's not even built for great companies. It's built for effing phenomenal companies. And you put 20,000 competitors on a field in a given year, you're going to get some effing phenomenal companies. But that does raise the bar for everybody else. You break a four-minute mile, everybody cares, until somebody breaks a 3.45. You're not relevant anymore. You always got to keep competing at a higher and higher level. And you know, Seed has really enabled that. It's, it's changed the, the world of venture in a way that's truly amazing and awesome. Hmm. 